this section, we're going to go over how to use conversion tracking using PayPal account. Most micro businesses will use PayPal in order for their customers to purchase their items without having to have their own merchant account. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to get the coding for your tracking. And to do that, you're going to go to Reporting and Tools, Conversions. And we're going to select New Conversion. Then we're going to be asked for a name that we want this conversion to be called. Once we name it, we'll select Save and Continue. On the conversion category, we're going to select purchase and sale. For that's what we want to track, the purchase and sale of an item through our PayPal pay button. The security level is going to stand for the web page that you have. Do you have a secure web page? If so, you're going to have an S at the end. If your website does not have the secure page, it's going to be HTTP. Go to your website and see what do you have. Do you have HTTP or do you have HTTPS? And select accordingly. We want to make sure that we have add Google Site Stats notification to the code generated for a page. When you paste your coding on the thank you page from the PayPal, Google will have a little box showing just so the people who purchase from you know that they are being tracked. Google does not want to make it look like they are doing something unethical. So something is going to appear in the page that you paste this coding into, just so people know it is being traced. And this is basically configuring that box that will show up. And once we configure, We'll select Save and Continue. Now, if you're going to be making the change to your website, to your PayPal, you will select I make changes to the code. If you're going to have someone who's going to make changes to the website on your behalf, your webmaster, you would select this button and you would basically in the to section type the email address of your webmaster here select send a copy to your email address add a personal message if you like telling your webmaster such this is the code that I want to track the purchase through PayPal for Google AdWords and then you would simply send the email. Since in this case I will be adding the code, I will select I make changes to the code. And you'll see the code that we are going to paste to our website is below in the box. What we're going to do is we're going to select this by holding the left mouse button held down Select the coding, right-click the mouse button, and select Copy. Next, we're going to go to the Thank You page and paste this coding. The Thank You page is the web page that your PayPal account will go to after the purchase is made. Basically, it's going to be mentioning thank you. Thank you for this purchase possibly other purchases you would like to make, etc, etc. Here is a sample 
of a very simple thank you page. And what we're going to do is we're going to paste the coding to this page. So in this case, using Web Plus 4, I'm going to select Insert Web Object HTML and I'm going to paste the HTML in the corner. Then I'm going to paste the HTML onto the web page and select OK. And you can see the little coding here. This coding will allow us to track what clicks lead to sales. And that's very, very important to find out the effectiveness of our ads and our campaigns. This thank you page will have its own URL address and that's going to be the domain name backslash and the file name of this page. In this case, it would be page10.html. So the URL address will be www.woodburningshop.com backslash page10.html. We will need this to inform PayPal where to go once the purchase has been made through their Pay Now button. We will then sign on to PayPal select Merchant Services, we will select Buy Now button, we will select the button type, the shopping cart, Buy Now, donations, gift certificates, subscriptions, automatic billing, or installment plan. In this case we're going to select Buy Now. Then we'll enter the name of the item item ID if it has one, and the price. We will then add the shipping cost if any, tax if any, and our merchant account ID. Then we will select customize advanced features. And if we scroll down We'll come to a box next to take customers to this URL when they finish checkout. We're going to select this and we're going to put the address of our thank you page where our coding has been just pasted. What this does is after the person purchases the item they will be taken to the thank you page where the Google AdWords coding will trace this purchase to the Google Ad and movements before. This way you could learn how effective your ad was. How many people clicked on your ad and actually selected the PayPal Buy Now button and ended up on your thank you page. Once we enter this URL we will select Create Button. PayPal will then create our Buy Now button. What we're going to do is we're going to select code and then with our right mouse button we're going to click and then we're going to select copy. And What we're going to do is we're going to paste this in our website. Once the HTML code is pasted onto our website, we'll upload our website to the web. And this is how our site page will look. So when someone selects the Buy Now button, they will be taken to the order page where they will be asked to enter their PayPal password if they have one or their credit card information. And once they fill out this information and PayPal is satisfied they enter their credit card information correctly, they will be taken to the thank you page. And this is where the Google AdWords coding for the conversion tracking is located.
so that information in terms of the clicks on your ads and those who actually purchase your items and go to the PayPal button will be recognized. This is a way that you can figure out your return on investment for your ads, which is the most important matrix of information that you could use to justify the effectiveness of your ads. So this is how you use Google AdWords conversion tracking coding for your PayPal Buy Now button.